Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing three cryptocurrencies. Two of them are right now outperforming the crypto market, while the third one is still inside the multi-year range. The three cryptocurrencies are Utrust, Bancor and Yota. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis and price predictions for free. Also like our videos and leave a comment. In many of my previous YouTube videos, I've been stating that we are inside the bull trend back into June 2020. The bull trend will be lasting at least till March, April 2020. In this sense, you trust him to have a much higher relative strength if compared with the majority of the cryptocurrencies. So what happened is that we have experienced a huge increase in terms of volumes, and right now with a long white candle supported by such an increase in volumes, we are facing against the horizontal resistance around 0.20 US dollar. If we break above 0.20 US dollar, we are plenty of room till at least 0.80 US dollar, then one US dollar is a full number, and then we should be after retrace and after a period of squeezing, we should be hitting the new all-time high. So the question is, is going you trust to hit new all-time high over the 2021? The answer should be yes. I do believe once broken above the 0 0.20 US dollar, we are going very in a very fast way to hit 0 0.80 and then 1 US dollar. And after a squeeze and a retrace, we are going to test the whole time high. Let's now move on and let's analyze Bancor. Bancor is a different chart if compared with the U-Trust. Let's say that U-Trust has the relative strength higher if compared with the all the, all the free cryptocurrencies, so U-Trust between U-Trust, Bancor, and Yota. Now, even in such a case, we have detected a huge increase in terms of volumes. Here we have a spike in volumes in association with the long white, longer white candle. Even the MACD is positive with a blue line above the uh, orange one. Now, in terms of price action, we are going now to hit the 5 US dollar free shot, which means um, um, uh, more than 100% increase over the next weeks. And after a period of squeeze, we are going to retest the 10 US dollar, and then we might see Bancor going to test the, the whole time high. Uh, now, in terms of technical analysis, in terms of price action, you trust is at the number one of the free analyzed cryptocurrencies. Bancor is definitely at the number Let's now analyze Yota. As you can see here, uh, differently from Utrust and Bancor, we, are, we have lack uh, of volumes. Volumes are lacking. As you can see here, we don't see an increase in volume, which means buyers and sellers are not trading Yota right now. Uh, so what we need in order to see Yota moving above this very first horizontal resistance around 0 0.42 is actually an increase in terms of volumes. We should be seeing something like that. We should be experiencing an increase in terms of volumes. Now, right now, we can, as a first target, we could be facing the horizontal resistance around 0 0.42. With, but with this amount of volumes, we should be expecting a retrace from 0 0.42. In other words, I'm not really optimistic right now for Yota. Let's wait and let's see if we will see volumes coming up over the next weeks, and then we can reevaluate Yota. Right now, there are no reasons why we should be trading and we should be buying Yota, if not for fundamental analysis. But under a technical, under a mere technical point of view, there are no possibilities to Yota to overcome the to break above the 0.42 US, uh, US dollar horizontal resistance. Thank you, guys.